Are you bored? Get a new portion of Fresh Pranks. Toothpaste in a cream puff, worms in an apple, and an onion smell in a pack of M&Ms? Watch and prank your friends. A magic apple for Snow White? No, it's an apple to prank your friend. Boil shortcut orzo pasta shaped like large grains of rice. Place it on a plate. Let it dry. Use a black food marker to turn the pasta into larvae. Draw the distinguished spots on the ends. Prepare an apple. Core it. Put in the larvae. Tuck toothpicks inside to stick the top. Turn the apple stem down. Let's get a light snack. I won't let my friend bite the apple as she can get pricked with the toothpick. I cut it in half. It looks as if there's a larvae home inside. I bite the apple, but my friend faints. She's so sensitive. Hey, Snow White. Wake up! If my friend likes fruit and vegetables so much, she's ready to eat them with worms inside. I'll give her my special bell pepper. Mold the white chewy candy into a worm. Press the toothpick across the body to get distinguished rings. Add eyes and a tail with black food coloring. Place the worms in the fridge to cool. Meanwhile, make a home for them. Cut out the stem from a big bell pepper. Remove the core. Put the worms inside. Set the stem back. Cut the bell pepper before your friend's eyes. Take off the top. Who is it inside? Hi, babies! Take a worm and eat it while your friend's watching you amazingly. Ugh! Ghastly! On the other hand, you can make a cool selfie and get the reputation of a fearless worm eater. It's worth trying! These M&M candies have a weird smell. Is it a new onion filling variation? Cut an onion in half. Take some M&Ms and spread the onion juice all over. Put the candies back into the pack. Open the M&M's package and treat your friend. She doesn't look happy to taste the new onion filling. I pretend to eat the candies, but put them into my pocket instead. Oh, she seems to guess about my trick. I should run away. Do you like getting coffee to go? Be careful with the cup. Cut out the bottom of a paper cup. Cover the top with a piece of plastic wrap and press it to sag. Pour in a little water. Put on the top. Cut off the excess. My friend opens her coffee. Oops! Waterfall! Oh yes, our pranks seem to be a bottomless source of fun. Your friends got bored. Entertain her with your fidget spinner. Take off the cap. Squeeze some hot glue over the bearing. Put the cap back. My friend looks over my shoulder to read my messages. Let her use my fidget spinner to have fun. Oh, there's something wrong. It doesn't spin as quickly as it should, no matter how she tries. If patience is not on the top of your friend's strength list, then this prank will fit her perfectly. But first, do your best to get her phone. We'll need lots of colored rubber bands. You can cut your balloons to get them. Put the bands on her phone. The more tangled they are, the better. Put the phone into her pocket. She takes it out. What's this? A double-sided rubber phone case? It's not funny. Who's going to pull it off? I wonder. I know who is. I'm going to make a very special dessert for my friend. We'll need cream puffs and toothpaste for toddlers under three years of age as it's safe to swallow. Squeeze the paste into a cup. Cut off the tip of a big syringe. 
Suck the toothpaste. Cut the cream puffs and eject the unusual filling. Mmm, delicious! Treat your friend with the pastry. Bite a regular cream puff and let your friend get the paste-filled one. Oh, poor girl! She feels like she's accidentally brushed her teeth. Okay, I've got a special Sprite to fit her pastry. Pour Sprite into a cup. Put in mouth rinse instead. Add Sprite to fill the bottle. Treat your friend. She's going to get a drink. She takes a sip. <laughs> You'd better run away. She gets up quickly and runs to spit it out. Do you know that Q-tips can be sweet? Take off the cotton from the Q-tip. Open a pack of cotton candy and put it on the tip instead of the regular one. Put the candy swabs into the box. My friend takes a Q-tip to correct her makeup. I take mine and start chewing on it. She tries to repeat my trick, but the regular cotton doesn't turn into candy. What about a snack? Take a glue stick and spread it on your bread. Remove glue from the stick. Clean the holder. Assemble the container and fill it with butter. Wipe the excess with a paper napkin. The butter stick is ready. My friend's having tea. I open my butter stick and spread it on my bread. She looks bewildered. I give it to her to taste. The glue stick can adhere, but it can make your sandwich tastier. I've got a perfect pencil case to prank my friend. We'll need a pencil case with a Velcro fastener. Secure it with a cable tie. Cut off the tail, tucking the tie under the bow. Give it to your friend. She tries in vain to open it. This Gordian knot can only be cut through. I've got amazing wax crayons. Remove the labels from the wax crayons. Cut off the top and the bottom. Join them with a wire. Heat the wire end above the flame and tuck it into the wax cutout. Place the crayon of the same color in hot water. Remove the label without tearing or cutting. When the paper is dry, wrap it around the wax-tipped wire. Glue the edge. Give the special wax crayon to your friend. What's happened? It's broken in our hands. And another again! What's wrong with these crayons? They're more fragile than glass. A tasty orange can cheer you up, and I'm going to prank my friend with the salted one. Pour water into salt to make a saturated solution. Suck it in the syringe and fill an orange. I peel the orange and treat my friend. She bites a sweet piece. Is it actually sweet? It seems it is. She's eaten it without grimacing. Did I get the wrong orange? I should taste it myself. Oh God! What a ghastly thing! Sour and salty flavor is disgusting. I pranked myself! My lipstick is going to finish. I need a brush. I can ask my friend to give it to me. Rub a lip brush against a clove of garlic. My friend gives me her brush. I try to apply my lipstick. What's that scent? It smells of garlic, as if I'm going to fight vampires. This smell will not only make vampires, but other people run away from me. Try this fun fur trick when walking with your friend. Hot glue a piece of fur to shape a little tail. While your friend's looking away, attach the tail to your shoe. What a cute little beast! Tickle her leg with the tail. She's scared! She can't understand who's doing it. I repeat the trick again and again. Is it a cat or some other animal? Or is it my dear friend who's fooling around? What can be better than a juicy tangerine? Take a tangerine and red food coloring dissolved in water. 
Suck the coloring into a syringe. Prick the tangerine to color it inside. Wipe off the excess. My friend peels her tangerine. What's wrong with it? Some red stains? It doesn't look edible. Is it genetically modified? I wouldn't eat such a thing. Which pranks did you like the most? A bottomless coffee cup? A salted orange? Or butter and a glue stick? Write about the best in your comments. Give your thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Click the bell to hear it cling when a new prank compilation appears.